Hey, wild things. Today, I want to talk about a kind of practical magic that's very close to my heart. Thrifting. Thrift shops are phenomenal for sourcing magical tools. Lots of people are wanting to shop more ethically nowadays, and let's be real, most of us are on a budget. But there is also a magic in thrifting itself that I've become fairly adept at. And we'll talk about that a bit as I show you what I've found. We always need more candles. It's just the law. I like to watch for candles when I'm thrifting because there are just loads of them for dirt cheap and often they've never been lit, which means they're clean and clear to use as ritual candles. I found this box of six new party light votives at the Goodwill. There were actually several boxes like this one on the shelf, but I liked the colors here. Votives are great for week-long or overnight rituals because they tend to burn eight to ten hours. Now, it's true, we don't usually go for scented candles on the altar, but as long as the scent of the candle is in alignment with your intent, it's fine, I think. I picked this box up for under two bucks less than 33 cents per candle. Hard to beat that for brand new party lights. I also found this short, hefty, ivory-colored pillar candle for probably 49 cents. There's no brand sticker on it, but it's new. Now, pillar candles are not typically good as ritual candles unless you've got a long-term project you're working on, but they're invaluable for just having around the room to create that super spooky, magical vibe we're all looking for. Speaking of ambiance, Check out these babies, 99 cents a piece at Goodwill. No maker's mark. They were clearly designed to take a large pillar, four inch, maybe six, and it looks like someone was trying to use candles with the little metal wick clips and got frustrated and bent down the spikes. But that's okay because how awesome are these for little offering plates or for holding a vignette of candles or other items on the altar? Or again, as atmospheric ambiance. And this candlestick is a nice size for either altar work or layering with other candlesticks of varying height. I've got other candlesticks with a similar pewter or brushed nickel sort of a finish, and this one complements the group. It was a Goodwill find at $1.99. Now, these sconces are giving me some heavy gothic castle energy. 99 cents each, folks. Solid metal from Goodwill. Sconces are a great way to get more candle power in a room. And I love the whiff here of medieval ironmongery. Side note, if you have feline familiars, Getting the candles up on the wall means they won't get knocked over. Of course, this isn't something I have to worry about because my cats are pros with candle safety. In fact, I haven't had a cat candle mishap since the great space clearing tea light disaster of 2018. Leave all their stuff here. They, there's really no way for me to... Watch that candle. Hey! Okay, so that's one candle down. It wasn't that bad. Moving on. I get happy when I find mugs with a good vibe. Brewing that tea or coffee in the morning is a ritual, a meditation, a hot potion to start the day right. It's powerful stuff, with or without an incantation. 
I found four of these for 49 cents each at a Goodwill. They're by Better Homes and Gardens, which I think is distributed by Walmart. They're dark inside and out, and this gentle flower motif speaks to me of earth magic. It's just a lot more of a witchy vibe sipping tea from this mug than say, somebody's basic merch that just doesn't make you feel all dark and spooky. I want to show you my kitchen overhead light. Well, not that one. This is the old one. You can see one light is out. That's not the bulb. The fixture is broken. And yes, replacing a kitchen light might not seem overtly magical, but there might have been some manifestation involved. About two weeks ago, anytime I think about it, I remind myself I need to be watching for a flush mount light fixture. When I made it to the Habitat Restore, I almost paid seven bucks for a four bulb fixture but it wasn't my favorite, and the housing was squat, and I'd have to get special bulbs for it, so I made myself wait for a nicer light. Imagine my surprise when, minutes later, I pop a couple blocks over to the Goodwill and see this glorious beast on the shelf for three dollars. Three dollars. It's in perfect shape, and it even came with five working light bulbs. I mean, what? And you're right, it's not a flush mount fixture. It's a freaking chandelier, but I mean, I do love a chandelier. So I had to hang it bypassing the chain, and I'll have trouble if anyone much over six foot comes over, but again, three dollars and this is the magic of thrifting the randomness of what gets donated and then shipped to different locations makes it a flexible network of moving materials to call things in now i don't always find what i need the first time but I very often do, and we can talk more about using thrifting to manifest what we need and desire in the future, if that's of interest to anyone. I haven't really talked about glamour magic on this channel, but you can see I do put some effort into makeup and choosing my clothing, ornamentation, and this is glamour magic. When we put paint on our face with the intention of emphasizing our best features and de-emphasizing others, and when we dress to put ourselves forward in a specific energy for the day, we are performing low-key practical magic. And it is my feeling that how we house our clothing, our jewelry, and our makeup is an important part of making that energetic alignment work. To that end, I found this at Goodwill, 99 cents. I believe it's supposed to sit on the kitchen counter and hold coffee mugs. Not my vibe. That's what a cupboard is for. Cup, board, it's in the name. But I was attracted to the lines of this thing and it's perfect for bulky, chunky bracelets. And then, oh, my makeup table. Uh, well, it's embarrassing. It's more organized than it looks, I promise, but this desk is not me. It's aluminum and plastic, and when I sit down to construct myself for public consumption, I just feel, well, not myself. So I'm changing it for a table that is me. I mean, look at these lion heads. I love the carved antique wood situation. This works great as an altar to the cosmetic arts. The library table, I didn't thrift exactly. It's a family piece. 
But I did find these. I'm gathering trays and other storage vessels so I can keep my makeup organized and work without staining the table with oils and pigments. 99 cents for this flower power and then $1.99 for each of these ceramic trays. But these would work to keep all sorts of magical items sorted and arranged. My idea with these is that I can keep my makeup in a place that feels like my energy, or like the energy I want to feel inside of myself through the day. They don't really go together. Hey, I've got a lot of moving parts. The point is, Glamour Magic is just that much more effective if you've already got your tools housed in a way that honors them and honors you. And I think that's important. Clothing. With the pandemic, many, many people have been working more from home. What do we wear when we're at home? Pajamas? Sweats? Yoga pants that highlight every tiny ripple of cellulite and untoned ass? When I dress for the home office, I do like to be comfortable, but I also want to keep it classy. Velour lounge pants. I know they're not really in right now. I guess I don't care. I picked these up because of the animal print. I was going to say it's hard to go wrong with big cat energy, But I guess the pandemic has taught us otherwise. Nevertheless, I like cats, I like big cats, and cat pelt print on my lounge pants makes me feel good and to some extent keeps me in mind of the energy of a jungle cat. Just hopefully not jungle cat breeders. So what I'm saying is, don't be afraid to feel a little glam even when you're sitting around at home with your cat's nether eye taking up your Zoom meeting screen. And while we're still on glamour, never compromise on bras. Find the brand, style, and size that makes you comfortable and yet properly hoisted and rigged. The female chest is so overly emphasized in symbolic meaning and cultural value. How we harness those globes of power in public makes a huge difference in how we feel about ourselves. And yes, I'm modeling this in the dumbest way possible. YouTube can be a bit tetchy about boob action, even when the spicy bits are covered. I'm trying to cover my ass here, or well, cover my tits. I was lucky to find a Victoria's Secret brassiere in my size at an Ohio thrift for $2.99. This is probably easily a $40 or $50 piece of battle kit. It's super comfy in a deep blue microfiber satin and I feel like I'm ready to burst energy out of my heart chakra like a freaking Care Bear. Finally, these curtains are my best recent find. And you're asking, Cyprus, what do curtains have to do with magic? Oh, so much. When I perform ritual, I often like to get the whole space prepared and having rich, drapey fabrics all over just really sells it for me. This pair of curtains is made from a really nice fabric. I wish you could feel it through the screen. And they're huge. I think about seven foot wide and eight foot tall each. One of them could serve as an altar cloth or as a drop cloth to set the area to work on. And here's what really clinched it for me. The pattern is a repeating sunburst. Now, I've been working with Sekhmet over the last year and a half. By some accounts, she is the source of the sun's strength. And when I saw these, I mean, the curtains were at Ohio Thrift for $8.99 per panel. So kind of steep for me, but only a tiny fraction of what they would have cost to make, let alone purchase pre-made. What do you think about these? How would you use them? 
I realize the deep orange is not everyone's cup of tea, but to me, these are so gorgeous. So I'm ecstatic. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. I love to hear what you all think about my finds, but also, what's your best magical item thrift find or special object that you found by strange means? I want to know. Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, keep the thrifting and the magic wild. I guess the pants work on Archimedes. Tetchy about boob action. YouTube can be a bit. YouTube can be about. Okay, take two. <laughs> this time with audio. Today, I want to talk about a kind of. Did you eat too much, baby? I'll have trouble if...